Coming up on Boys Toys, I'm getting my face 3D scanned. Plus, find out which toys were a flop and which were on top. Make sure you don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Boys Toys. Our next crazy contraption is something that looks like it's straight out of the future, or maybe even a video game. This is the GoScan 3D scanner. But we are taking a 3D picture of an object, maybe send it to a 3D printer. That's Stefan, a pro from Creaform, a company that's been dominating the 3D technology game. And today, he's gonna show me how all this stuff works. We design, you know, easy, handheld, uh, user-friendly scanners that are currently mainly used in the engineering and automotive and aerospace, but it's slowly going down to, to being a more of a uh, everyday uh, product. So take us through the technology. Uh, two cameras and a light projector. And it's projecting a pattern on the part, and the way this pattern is deformed on the shape is going to give you a 3D. 3D. It's a bit like your eyes, you know, your eyes actually look at something and make the shape knowing the difference in distance between the two eyes. And now that same eyeball intellect is being applied here to this very scanner, which is pretty amazing. If I had this system at home, how would I use this? Well, you know, it's, it's a simple USB connection. So, I mean, you plug it into the computer, so the software actually gets the information that comes from the scanner and, and calculates the 3D, the 3D model. Curious as to what all you can potentially scan and print out? I know I am. If I'm working on my car, it breaks down, and I don't have the right part, mm -hmm. in theory, I could scan that part. In practice, actually. It, oh. It happens. Carbon fiber insert on your dash. You can go and scan your dash and have it you know, printed in 3D, put it in your car. OK, I say we test this baby out. First up, we're scanning a wrench. There's a wrench on it's the screen. It's a wrench there. It goes directly into the software. Yeah. And like you said, you can spruce it up. That's the technical yeah. term, I'm exactly. sure. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, and then you just send it off to the 3D printer. Exactly. A different company that's yeah. nearby. And mm -hmm. There's, you know, there's mechanical parts, there's movable parts. You could actually print it as one assembly, and the parts would be moving without having to do any assembly. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. What's the most absurd or interesting thing that you have scanned or you've heard that's been scanned <laughs> and printed? Yeah, well, yeah, that's well. That's TV appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not really appropriate, but it was a, it, it was a mannequin <laughs> for gentlemen. Oh, mm. that's it. Moving right along, it's time for me to test this Go Scanner out. You're, it's, it's more like a, a spray gun. So you need to spray the object with the, the lights. Should we try this? Mm -hmm. Little stress ball. I need a lot of those, very stressed out. So I'm going to print a whole <laughs> stash. Ooh. Are you? There we go. I see it. See the mouse? Mm -hmm. And then you would need to go down to see you know, each side. You input it in the software, and then you just send it to your printer company. And then two days later, Voila. Yeah, either you could ship it to you, yeah, or whichever way, you know, they, 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 I think more and more we're gonna see it, you know, on every, on every street. I think so. As long as the object is not too shiny, transparent, or too dark, you can scan just about anything you want, including people. So if you were to scan me and send it to a printer, what would it come out? as plastic, it would be a plastic mold. In most cases, is a, is a just a, a thin layer, so it's gonna be probably a, an eighth of an inch thick uh, surface that's gonna create like a like an empty plastic uh, toy, for example. It's kinda like I'm getting a photo facial, or sitting in a tanning bed, or a strobe light, just wanna fist pump, no, I'm kidding. So if I wanted to make my own Halloween mask, yeah, I could do that. You could do that, yeah. I could be me under me. Exactly, exactly. I've got my Halloween <laughs> costume. <laughs> Besides that frightening idea, you could even make your very own bobblehead, like he made from my 3D scan. Oh yeah, I know what I'm giving all my friends and family this year for the holidays. Okay, are you ready to generate your own 3D models based off of real world items? Do they come to you? Can they order it online? Is it 
for sale for everyday buyers? Well, right now it's more for the uh, industry, I would say. You know, price-wise, uh, we're talking the price of a small car. Or in layman's terms, roughly $25,000 for the setup. But hey, the good thing is you'll never run out of things to scan. It's now time for the moment you've all been waiting for to crown the king of boys' toys. 